started selling his famous chicken from a humble gas station? That's right, folks. The world-renowned Kentucky Fried Chicken had rather modest beginnings. It all started on a typical day, March 20, 1930, at a gas station named Sanders Court and Cafe, nestled on Route 25 near North Corbin, Kentucky. This is where Harlan Sanders, our beloved colonel, began selling his now famous chicken. From this small station, Sanders crafted the unique flavor that would become a staple on dinner tables around the globe. His secret blend of 11 herbs and spices, pressure cooked to perfection, created a taste sensation that quickly gained popularity. As the word spread about this mouth-watering chicken, Sanders saw an opportunity to transform his small operation into something much larger. Fast forward to September 24, 1952, a significant date in the annals of fast food history. This was the day when the first ever franchise of what we now know as KFC opened its doors in Salt Lake City, Utah. The launch of this franchise marked the beginning of an era, an era of finger-licking goodness that would sweep across the United States and eventually, the world. But the journey from a humble gas station in Kentucky to a globally recognized fast food empire wasn't a smooth one. It took years of hard work, dedication, and an unwavering belief in his recipe. Sanders faced numerous challenges and setbacks, but his determination never wavered. He believed in his chicken, and he knew others would too. So, there you have it. The origins of KFC, a story of humble beginnings, of a man with a dream and a recipe, a gas station in Kentucky, a secret blend of herbs and spices, and a dream of sharing his delicious chicken with the world. So the next time you enjoy a KFC meal, remember it all started in a small gas station. Ever wondered why Sanders is called a colonel? He wasn't in the military. Quite intriguing, isn't it? Well, let's delve into that. Harlan Sanders, the face of KFC, was indeed a colonel, but not the kind you're probably thinking of. He never served in the military. Instead, he was a Kentucky colonel, an honorific title bestowed by the state of Kentucky. This honorary title was given to him by Governor Ruby Lafoon in the year 1937. Now you might be wondering what exactly a Kentucky colonel is. It's a recognition of an individual's noteworthy accomplishments and outstanding service to the community, state, and nation. Sanders was among 5,000 people who received this honor in that year, but the story doesn't end there. Sanders was later recommissioned as a Kentucky colonel by another governor, Lawrence Weatherby. And it was around this time that the iconic image of Colonel Sanders began to take shape. The goatee, the white suit, and the string tie, all these became an integral part of Sanders' persona, making him easily recognizable worldwide. The title of Colonel became so synonymous with Sanders that it followed him into his business ventures. When he started his chicken business, he used the title of Colonel, creating a brand that was distinct and memorable. He became the Colonel of the Chicken Empire, and his image, along with the title, became a symbol of delicious finger-licking good chicken. But being a colonel wasn't just about the title for Sanders. It was a reflection of his dedication, hard work, and commitment to delivering the best fried chicken to his customers. He ruled his chicken empire not with an iron fist, but with a secret recipe and a dedication to quality that set KFC apart. So, the colonel wasn't a military man, but he sure did command an empire of fried chicken. Now isn't that a tasty piece of history? introduced until 15 years after the start of Sanders' chicken empire? Picture this. The year is 1957, a time when Elvis Presley is rocking the airwaves and Sputnik is making its first trip around the Earth. Amidst this backdrop of rock and roll and space exploration, an innovation in the world of fast food makes its debut. The Bucket Meal, a now iconic offering from KFC, was introduced to the world not by Colonel Sanders himself, but by his very first franchisee, Pete Harmon. Harmon, an entrepreneur from Salt Lake City, saw potential in the idea of a family-sized meal that was both easy to serve and delicious to eat. Inspired by the concept of a Sunday dinner you could enjoy any day of the week, he created the first bucket meal. This meal was a hearty feast, designed to satisfy the hunger of a family or a group of friends. It contained 14 pieces of that succulent secret recipe chicken that KFC is famous for served with five soft bread rolls and a pint of rich, flavorful gravy. The introduction of the bucket meal marked a turning point for KFC. It was a symbol of the brand's commitment to providing affordable, convenient, and tasty meals that could be enjoyed by everyone, everywhere. This innovation not only changed the way people thought about fast food, but it also played a significant role in shaping KFC's identity as a brand 
that's all about bringing people together over a shared love for great food. Today, the bucket meal has become synonymous with KFC. It's a classic offering that continues to be loved by millions of people around the world. Whether you're catching up with friends, celebrating a special occasion, or simply craving some delicious fried chicken, the bucket meal is there to satisfy your cravings and create memories that last a lifetime. And who do we have to thank for this? Pete Harmon, the man who introduced the world to the joy of the bucket meal. Bucket meals have become a KFC classic, all thanks to Pete Harmon, at. Now that's a question to ponder upon. Not often do we see a fast food item becoming a part of someone's signature style. But guess what? It happened. And not with just anyone, but with a renowned American guitarist. Let's talk about Buckethead. Yes, you heard it right. That's his stage name. Buckethead, famous for his work with the legendary Guns N' Roses, drew attention not just with his music, but also his unique headgear. And what was this headgear, you ask? Well, it was none other than a KFC bucket. Yes, you heard it right, a KFC bucket turned into a hat. Picture this, a man shredding the guitar, lost in the rhythm of the music with a KFC bucket placed upside down on his head. Quite an image, isn't it? But it wasn't just a plain KFC bucket. It was adorned with an orange label with the word funeral written across it. A rather grim word for such a delicious bucket, don't you think? But why a KFC bucket? Well, Buckethead never explicitly stated why he chose this particular bucket as his hat. But whatever his reasons, it surely added an eccentric charm to his persona. This bucket hat became so synonymous with Buckethead that it's hard to imagine him without it. Buckethead's KFC bucket hat is a testament to how a simple fast food item can transform into a fashion statement, or rather, a signature style. It's not every day that you see a bucket of chicken influencing pop culture in such a peculiar way. So the next time you order a bucket of KFC, remember, it's not just a bucket of delicious chicken. It's a potential hat, a fashion statement, a symbol of eccentricity, and who knows what else. After all, in the world of creativity, even a bucket has endless possibilities. Who knew a KFC bucket could be such a fashion statement, especially big in China? Yes, the land of the Great Wall and panda bears has a special place in its heart for the Colonel's secret recipe. KFC was the first Western fast food franchise to set up shop in China, way back in 1987. Since then, it's grown at an astonishing rate. Today, you can find over 4,500 outlets scattered across the country, from the bustling city of Shanghai to the quiet corners of rural provinces. But KFC in China isn't just about the original recipe chicken or the crispy fries we're familiar with. Oh no, it's a whole different culinary experience. Each Chinese KFC outlet boasts an average of 50 items on the menu, many of which are unique to the region. Chinese KFC has done an incredible job of adapting to local tastes, serving up dishes you wouldn't typically associate with a fast food joint. How about a bowl of congee for breakfast or a rice dish topped with mushroom and chicken for lunch? Or perhaps you're in the mood for some tree fungi salad. Yes, you heard right, tree fungi salad. It might seem outlandish, but these menu items are a hit with the locals, proving that KFC is not just a fast food chain, but a brand that truly understands and caters to its diverse customer base. So, the next time you find yourself in China, why not swing by a KFC? It's not just about grabbing a quick meal. It's about experiencing a unique fusion of East meets West, where the comforting familiarity of fried chicken is interwoven with the rich flavors of Chinese cuisine. KFC has truly become a global sensation, with a special place in the hearts of the Chinese people. From a small gas station in Kentucky to the crowded streets of Beijing, the journey of KFC is a testament to the universal appeal of good food and smart business strategies.